so hello everyone welcome to this new video so in my previous video we had discussed with the, the two input cmos nand gate operation right so please uh, those who didn't uh, those who have not seen that video please go and watch it it is available just before this video only okay also we have discussed some of the important uh, combinational logic uh, rules of uh, cmos for and operation as well as or operation in just previous uh, of that video we have discussed about cmos inverters uh, pmos and nmos transistors combinational logic with transistor uh, uh, theory and all everything we have discussed please go and watch those videos okay so coming back to this video so in this video i'm just going to continue with the two input cmos nor gate operation okay how the uh, circuit is working how the circuit diagram looks like how the uh, output looks like uh, according to the nor gate truth table everything we are going to explain in this video okay so please watch this video till the end guys don't skip any part of the video if you want to understand it thoroughly and uh, if you see this video once right you would be easily you don't need to study once uh, once again just watch this video you uh, understand each and every part of it very carefully so without studying only just to be recalling and writing it in the exam very easily okay because these two questions right two input cmos nand as well as nor operation using cmos logic is very very important they would be coming any one of them would be definitely coming for the final exam point of view okay so please watch this video till the end so now let us discuss the nor gate two input cmos logic so first let us see the definition of a nor gate nor gate that is not of or is a fundamental logic gate in digital circuit it performs the inverse of the or operation meaning it only outputs one when all the inputs are zero okay when both the inputs are zero then only the output is one according to the truth table is mentioned here you see here when both the inputs are zero then only the output is one for rest all the combinations the output is zero okay otherwise the output is zero working of the nor gate the two input nor gate is constructed using pmos and nmos transistors in a specific arrangement that is pmos transistors are connected in parallel in the pull up network and nmos transistors are connected in series in the pull down network okay this structure ensures that the nor gate follows its truth table okay so for nand gate how it was for nand gate pmos transistors who, who were connected in series right but in this case they are connected in parallel but similarly nmos transistors were connected in parallel in case of nand gate but in case of nor gate they are connected in series just the vice versa of nand gate okay so this is the truth table okay uh the switch conditions whether it is off state or on state please refer each each of them very carefully next let us discuss some of the key features of the cmos nor gate first is the logical operation that is the nor gate produces zero if at least one input is one the output is one only when both the inputs are zero as i already told you which is the inverse of an or gate next is transistor configuration that is first it consists of pmos transistors in the pull up network they are connected in parallel that is uh, which is they are connected to vdd logic 1 either of the input is one at least one pmos transistor would be turning off preventing a connection to vdd when both the inputs are zero both pmos transistors conduct pulling the output to logic 1 okay next is the nmos transistor the pull down network again the nmos transistors are connected in series which i have already told that is it is connected directly to vss that is ground logic 0 if either of the input is one the series path to VSS is completed, pulling the output directly to the ground, that is logic 0. When both the inputs are 0, the NMOS transistor remain off in the off state, preventing a connection to the ground. Okay. So, see here, this is the equivalent circuit here for two input CMOS NOR gate. Okay. Check it out. As I have told you, the two PMOS transistors are in series and two NMOS transistors are in parallel, and from here, the output is checked okay so this is for multiple inputs okay this is not required so this circuit you should be uh, uh, making a note of very important part next is the power efficiency and signal integrity okay so this these explanations are not required but if you want you can pause the video and refer it out so this notes i'm going to provide it in the description afterwards okay, so, so this is the karnoff map that is k map interfacing of this circuit if you want can note it down okay so now let us see the circuit diagram and uh, each combination uh, explanation okay 
to see here nor gate the boolean expression of nor gate is mentioned like this, that is y is equal to a plus b the whole bar in cmos for a uh, and operation that is dot operation pmos are connected in parallel and nmos are connected in series and for or operation that is plus operation pmos are connected in series and nmos are connected in parallel okay so the symbol here for a uh, nor gate and since the circuit diagram which i have already told you here you see here the two pmos transistors are connected in series here and the two nmos transistors are connected in parallel so this is the table of uh, nor gate that is uh, when both the inputs are zero then only the output is logic one for rest all the combination the output is logic zero okay let us see for the first case that is when both the inputs are zero how the uh, transistor works and how the output we be getting it as logic one okay so when both the inputs are zero so a pmos uh, when pmos transistor uh, is kind of converted to the p p switch then we know that when the input is zero the switch is in on state so that's why when both the inputs are zero so both the switches are on okay when both the switches are on the switch is closed switch okay similarly for uh, nmos transistor the both the switches are off here so that's why these two are in open switch condition so the uh, current won't be flowing here so this is the circuit diagram according to that let us see the current flow here see first the current would be flowing from vdd since both the switches are closed to be coming here and it won't flow here because it won't come till ground because you see here both the switches are open so that's why the current flow will be getting obstructed from either of the switches so that's why uh, the current is uh, terminated at this point itself so that's why the output is terminated here so we would be getting logic high that is y1 that's why here the first combination in output is 1 okay so similarly for case 2 when a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 so when a is 0 b is 1 so what what would be the condition here so the pmos transistor is in on state for a as 0 and for b as 1 so this transistor would be in off state so that's why when it is on the switch is closed when when this is off the switch is opened here so here also the same thing the vice versa so if this is on so this would be off so this would be open switch and so this switch would be close switch in case of mos logic okay so this is the circuit diagram here so here if you see here the current flow cannot be from here because if you start from here the current flow would be obstructed here it would be going out so that's why we don't want the current to be flowing out instead of that it should be reaching either the output or the ground states so that's why here from if you start from vdd the current won't be flowing till output part that's why we should be starting the current flow from the output itself that is y equal to 0 and see here so here one switch is closed so that's why since these are parallel branches so from either of the branches the current would be flowing so that's why from here the current flows and it goes to ground state that is 0 okay so that's why the output produced for the logic 0 1 is for in case of nor gate it is 0 so, th so for third case when a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 so again when a equal to 1 the pmos transistor is in uh, off state so that's why the switch is open so when b equal to 0 so this is in on state so, so the switch is closed so similarly so this is in on state so the switch is closed and this is in off state so the switch is open okay so see here again the current flow cannot be from vdd because this switch is open so current won't be flowing till here output side so that's why you should be starting again from this part only so here since these two are in parallel branches so this switch is open so current won't be flowing from here but this switch is closed so current would be flowing from here and it would be going to the vss or the ground state so here again the ground since it is in ground state so output is logic zero okay so that's why for the combination one zero for a nor gate the truth table according to the truth table the output is zero using cmos logic okay similarly for the last combination when a equal to one and b equal to one again since both the inputs are one so both the pmos transistors would be in off state okay so so the switches are open both the nmos transistors would be in on state so the switches are closed again the current flow cannot be uh, it is not possible only from vdd because both the switches are open so the current won't be flowing from these two switches here that's why you should be starting again from here see here the both the switches are closed here n1 and n2 so that's why current will be flowing from either of the directions that is either from this direction or from this direction both the cases the current would be reaching the zero only so that's why our output is logic zero okay so that's why it satisfies the truth table here that is for when both the inputs are zero then only it is logic one because 
when both the inputs are zero in the pull-up part, the PMOS transistors would be in on state. So that's why the switches are closed. So that's why the current flow is possible from VDD to the outside in order to get the logic one. But in other cases, since uh, any one of the input is logic one, so if it is uh, any one of the input is logic one, automatically we could be saying that the PMOS transistor would be in off state. So when it is off state in the pull-up part, any one switches would be open, which would be obstructing the flow of current. So that's why we won't be getting the uh, output in the logic one. So that's why for all the other cases, the logic is zero, zero and zero. Only for this case, that is when both the inputs are zero, then only the logic is one. Okay. So this was the explanation of two input CMOS NOR gate. For each uh, combination, I have tried to explain. So. Hope you understood something from this video. I, have, uh, I, I was in a hurry because I needed to co cover uh, the other concepts as well. So that's why if I if you felt that the video was a bit faster, so comment down. I would be trying to slow it down in from the next video. Okay. So that's all guys. Thank you for listening till here, for having patience to listen till here if you are listening. Uh, and if you understood something till here, please like this video. Your like would be very, very important to us. Subscribe to our channel. Share this content with your friends, relatives, neighbors and whosoever is studying in the ECE branch because uh, these concepts and this question is very fixed question from the exam point of view. So please uh, support us guys. Thank you. We will see you in the next video.